next day we had a full day at our disposal and our flight was at uh, six o'clock or seven o'clock so in the evening day, yeah but uh, almost you can say like because hardly you do anything in the night so till seven o'clock we could do anything and what we thought uh, visiting two places one is St. George's Castle. St. George's Castle and the other one is Pink Street. So let's go to St. George Castle. We're planning to go up to the fort which is right on top of the hill and it's called Castel. So we really don't know how to get on top but as per the information that we have received we can go via bus. I don't know if the trams are going. If it is then we're going to have a tram journey as well in this vlog. Basically you need a pound to start unlock into the app it seems called the frogapp.com Alright and then you can leave it anywhere. I Where will I get that. this information? It's got a bell here, sorry. So I think you need to scan this QR code, sorry. And then I think to use this you need to be over 18 plus. I think we should try before going. It's not that difficult to use that. Maybe we can ask some locals. Oh, he's going man. No, no. Castel on top of the fort here. Yeah? And this is the last stop to Castel. Alright, thank you. I think this is the first time on the bus. So last, last stop, regard. It's the one way ticket, not a return ticket. We need to get back to this stop to go downstairs, down again, and that is the way to the castle. So let's go. Wow. This really looks good, man. Hola. Bon dia. Do you speak English? Pizza. We have just entered. I don't know what. Is this famous? Um, what is this? It's bread with cheese inside. Yes. Okay. So it's just bread, nothing else. <laughs> Only, it's just bread with cheese. That's all. With cheese or not? Okay. Where? Ticket, ticket. Yeah, so. so this is normal adults, it's 10 for 10 euro. Who is going to pay? The Portuguese government, because I'm a famous vlogger. Uh, tickets, please. 20 euros. Uh, and it is free, I think, yeah, for me, because I'm a famous man. <laughs> I'm joking. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Show him. Okay. We just scan them, I think. Give my ticket. It's here. Is it here? The view is just so spectacular. It's just so beautiful. Just this. And we have paid 10 pounds only for this. Okay, there are so many dimensions. We can go that side as well. We got a map, now we can follow that. We are. I think there's an amphitheater. Castiel. Castiel. Miradro. Miradro do Castel de Sao Jorge. Jog. 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 I just love this naked lady, man.
So close, isn't it? Mm. They're just flying here, I think. Going to St. George's Castle was really a um, good decision. We enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, it's right at the pinnacle of the hill. It's really, really, really awesome. And I've it's really never, huge as well. It's, it's quite huge. We could not, I would recommend if someone visiting, just go there for a day. For a day. I mean, especially those who like to take some photos for Instagram and stuff like that. Like you have beautiful locations over there. And, and the best part is you get beautiful views. You get the views yeah, of the yeah. land and the sea as well. Mm -hmm. You get the view of the whole city the, because you can see the castle yeah. from the from the Lisbon city itself. Mm -hmm. And the views are just incredible. Yeah, like, like we said, you can walk. You can go on foot, you can go by a bus, you can go by a tram. tram but when you go by tram, yeah. you remember you have to walk half the Halfway, way yeah. because the tram railings mm -hmm. don't reach up to the gates yeah, of yeah, the yeah. castle. Breathless. It's beautiful, but it is not a good place to bring your children, especially if they're like chicken muffins. And my husband, as usual, going down Let's love me. <laughs> and don't forget to play around with the pe uh, peacocks. They have around more than more than a dozen. Uh, yeah, I think when when I counted, they were around twelve or thirteen something. So amazing, man! They're guarding all the ladies there in the toilet. And also the museum, which is which is located at, in the in the same place. So everything is connected: the museum, the castle, uh, yes, the fort. Yes, you can sort visit of, the yeah. museum, and you don't have yeah. to pay for it. I think in the olden days they were using this castle for you know to protect the city, to and maintain their defense system. Yes, and uh, uh, yeah. Yes, probably the king must be having his guards. Some looking at the sea, some mm. looking at the land, and see from which side the invaders are coming. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So. Mm -mm. What okay. idea? Okay, okay. I think that's it. We are really tired. And I think so. We have mostly covered many things. We can start rolling on the streets now. We are popular fish cakes. Uh, it is called. <laughs> okay, whatever, just yes, buy it, man. Just buy. Go for it. Go I'm for it. Take a bite of the Go for it. Is that a slow motion bite? It's nice. It's really nice. Okay. I didn't ask you to do the review. Just give me a bite. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? It's nice, but it has a strong fishy smell. It's not bread, actually. It's not, it's not bread. It's fish, cake. fish cake. No, it's sweet, man. Oh. <laughs> one for you and one for me. Going down, coming down, you really get good experience, good vibes sort of. Yes. Because that we tra we traveled by via bus. They have made roads right up on hill. Yes. And, and uh, the, the buses, is, everything, the traffic flow without any obstruction. Yes. And the thing is, like you know, the best part of the ride is up, going up, and coming, coming down. down. Yeah. Because yeah. the slope is very stiff, and mm. so when the buses are going up, it's like, oh my god, is it really going to go up there? Mm. And the worst thing is when it comes down. Oh. It's like you need to really hold on tight because you think that you know this bus is just gonna go down, yeah, slam and down. It will take about six minutes, right? Really? That's okay. good. Yeah. Ten minutes. Ten minutes actually. Are you sure that number is not going to get any higher? No, it's ten minutes. Head south on Prakadav.
look at this beautiful buildings, the steep roads. This was really looking good. And this, we could explore everything since we decided to go on foot and we used the GPS. We were walking and this is what we could explore while, uh, while going on the way. And that is how we managed to uh, reach the Pink Street. We are here, the Pink Street. After all that walking. It's gonna be huge, I think. to explore in Pink Street, right? Yes. It was not so much. It was a small stretch sort of, which was, it was it's not painted, but it's a pink tar sort of, you know. And then we just thought of, we found a beautiful church nearby. Yes. Yeah. The thing is, we just crossed the Pink Street and mm. then later on we thought we'll take, take a stroll since mm. we had time and then we came across this church. Mm. Uh, this very beautiful church. We got time to relax over there. Mm. And when we moved further down, yeah, we, came we, across... we, we came across the thing. I had read about this place but never thought we would end up, uh, you know, reaching that. Yes. We had enough time to go to the timeout market. We reached the timeout yeah. market, which mm -hmm. is like a big auditorium, and you know, you've got people sitting and having meals. And no, it's not an auditorium. Auditorium is like, you know, it's like yeah, a it's, big it's, hall. A, it's a big it's a hall. Yeah, it's hall. market. Yeah. Yeah. Surrounded so with a. Uh, with all restaurants and shops mm -hmm. all around it. Mm -hmm. I was really nervous. I had never seen people just sitting in one place. Uh, people of different styles relaxing they had enough time so i think that's the reason it is called time out time, time out probably. yeah time out and market, so yeah. when franco was struggling to capture all the movements mm -hmm. i was just actually leaving those movements like guys these are the all food stalls so you can just grab something whatever you like i don't know if it is only during season or if it is just a normal thing i think it's everyday stuff over here not just weekends like UK. We come here every time. You see such a huge crowd. It's such a huge people. So you found all the pastry stalls and you yes. know desserts and yes. And I, it was very tempting because there were some things that looked really, really beautiful. Mm -hmm. And it's very tempting to go and just try. Okay, let me just try a little a bit. A bit expensive this, this, though. This. It's, it's a bit it expensive though. Yes, yeah. compared to other shops it yeah. is. Maybe once I become a big time uh, YouTuber, I can just go and do some reviews. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I can have a good laugh. <laughs> yes. Another um, thing about Portugal is that you know everywhere you go you see these big monuments and you always have a you know you have to keep your camera ready okay this looks beautiful let mm -hmm. me just stand in front of this you know statue and click a picture and the pictures just come amazing yeah, you never know what will be the next so you have to just get up all set to capture the moments you know you get to see different things uh, this 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 city is full of life and, and people really, yeah people are people are quite people. warm yeah very very warm people yes. it's not that you, you you don't know portuguese you're lost no, no you have modern gadgets in your hand mobile internet just make use of it and you can expose the place to the fullest Let me call this a wrap because uh, these were these were the moments that I had in Portugal. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, please do hit the like button, subscribe, press the bell icon so that every time I put new videos, you get notified. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Yeah, till then, peace. Oh, thank God, I forgot. Oh, peace. peace. And I'll see you soon. See you soon. <laughs>